On his radio program two weeks ago, Cameroonian journalist Martinez Zogo said he had information that people involved in corruption wanted him dead. Then on January 17, Zogo, the director of the urban radio station Amplitude FM, was abducted, prompting fears for his safety. On Sunday, Zogo's body was found. <laughs> Government spokesperson Rene Emmanuel Sadi said that it showed signs of torture and that the killing was barbaric, unacceptable and despicable. Zogo was known in the capital Yaoundé for his high-profile program called Traffic Jam that broadcasted in English. Friends, colleagues and fans created a shrine in his honour outside his workplace. There is a feeling of shame. Why in Cameroon? We are confused, but I would like us all to keep our sanity because those who did it are simply not human. The National Union of Journalists of Cameroon will always be there to denounce this heinous crime, to denounce this situation of serious infringement of press freedom, to attack the life of a journalist, I believe that is extremely serious. Journalists operating in Cameroon say Zogo's killing is part of an effort by the authoritarian government of President Paul Beer to intimidate the press corps. Through the barbarity of the assassination of Martinez Zogo, it is a message of fear that they want to instigate among journalists and in the circles of all those who have decided not to remain silent in the face of the crime that we observe in this country. Government spokesman Sadi said the investigation into the killing was ongoing and he promised the killers would be brought to justice. While Cameroon has a thriving media market, the group Reporters Without Borders says it is a court, hostile and precarious environment for journalists. For Emmanuel Jules Ntap in Yaoundé, I'm Vincent McCory, VOA News.